Last fall, my wife and I were in Yuma, Arizona for a few days and we had some time to kill, so we took in a couple of movies. One of them was Trouble with the Curve, starring Clint Eastwood. We loved it. The critics, they hated it. But then, most critics are liberals and don't like Clint Eastwood, especially after his conversation with the president at the Republican National Convention. Even critics bring their biases to the movies. The other movie we saw was Argo, which recently won the Oscar for Best Picture. The storyline suggests that during the Iran hostage crisis in 1979, CIA agent Tony Mendez engineered the escape of six Americans. The Canadian Embassy provided refuge, but little more. But according to reports at the time, and to Jimmy Carter who was president at the time, the Canadian caper, as it was called, was 90% the work of Canadian Ambassador Ken Taylor and his colleagues. Movies tell stories, but they f just flirt with history. Personally, I thought Argo was an example of great Hollywood storytelling and deserved an Oscar, although my first choice was Lincoln. A side note is how the real Argo story contrasts with the indifference during and the subsequent cover-up of the Benghazi affair where U.S. diplomats were under siege and then died. But a more concerning story regarding movies and their lack of accuracy is Al Gore's An Inconvenient Truth, supposedly a documentary for which he won an Oscar. A more accurate title might have been, Why Must the Truth Be So Inconvenient? Because the truth is that polar bear numbers are up. Antarctica is not melting, but gaining trillions of tons of ice mass. And, somewhat alarmingly, the warming trend we have enjoyed since the end of the Little Ice Age has stalled. Little Ice Age? Yes. After the medieval warm period, about a thousand years ago, significantly colder temperatures occurred from about 1300 until 1850. It led to crop failure, famine, and farms and villages in Europe being overrun by glaciers. And before the Little Ice Age, it was warmer than it is now. Mr. Gore took a pass on those inconvenient truths. Documentaries used to be about facts, not anymore. Al Gore justified this by saying, sometimes the facts are not enough. Keep that in mind when your politicians tell you that they absolutely must spend billions on harebrained schemes like Solyndra or on burying carbon dioxide. So here's the takeaway. Entertainment, media, and political elites are great at telling stories, but they rarely tell the truth. So let's think for ourselves. And when something needs to be done, let's do it ourselves. This is Dave Reeser for LDO Reports.